Developing tonight, gun violence at a rec center in the East Oak Lane section of Philadelphia. The shooting injuring five teenagers who may have been attending a social media gathering. Neighbors reported seeing large crowds showing up at Helen G. Sturgis Playground and Rec Center right before the shooting. Our Jennifer Lee has surveillance video showing some of the chaos. Neighbors say late last night, dozens of young people started gathering at Sturgis Playground and Rec Center. A short time later, they say gunshots rang out. Police say during the investigation, they found 18 spent shell casings. It looked like over 100, between 1 and 200 people. Surveillance video from Sunday night shows dozens of people running down 2nd Street when police say several gunshots were fired shortly after 11 p.m., injuring five teens. I think it was a bunch of people from out of the area that came up here for a TikTok gathering. Police say the teens suffering gunshot injuries are only 16 to 18 years old. Clifford Davoli has lived in East Oak Lane for 50 years and sits on the advisory council for the Helen G. Sturgis playground. His neighbor helps some of the teens get to safety. He told me a couple of boys running up the driveway away from the gunshots asked to come in his house to be protected. And they let him in the house for a couple of kids in the house until the cleared up. It's unclear if the teen shot were involved in the shooting or targeted. Police say there were a number of shots fired at the playground and spread out across Second Street. The union president for rec center leader says some parents chose to keep their children from camp on Monday, even with the heightened police presence. There are cameras here and there's police presence, but it's uh, how do you in the middle of the night make sure that there's no activity of gun violence on, you know, on your site. So it's very just unsettling. Police say it appears a crowd of several dozen were gathered during the shooting. Four teens were treated at Albert Einstein Medical Center and one was treated at Temple University Hospital. Two were taken by private vehicle, which are being held as part of the investigation. Perhaps if the police showed up when I called about the crowd that could have been prevented, but I don't know whether that's a fact or not. Philadelphia police are collecting and reviewing surveillance footage on site and around the neighborhood. They're also checking social media as part of the investigation. They're asking any witnesses to come forward by calling 215-686-TIPS. In East Oak Lane, Jennifer Lee, Fox 29 News.